Hello and welcome. In this video, we'll take a look at how to create histograms in Microsoft Excel. So let's say you have some data like this. You have the scores received by students in a class and these are all individual scores and they're out of zero to 100. And um, you have like about, about 20 students, 20, 25 students who have received various scores. Now, what I want to do is I want to create a, a histogram to get an idea of the frequency distribution of these students within various uh, score ranges. So specifically, I have different bins over here. I have uh, one bin is from zero to 10, the other is from 11 to 20, uh, and so on all the way till 100. So I would like to now find out how many uh, students have scored within each of these different bins. And I would like a visual representation of that in the form of a histogram. So to get started, we need to go to the data tab and uh, scroll uh, and go over to the data analysis uh, menu item over here. So click on that and you will see the data analysis interactive tool. If you do not see the data analysis link, that is because you need to install the analysis tool pack, which I have shown in a previous video, uh, but you can also Google that. So please install the analysis tool pack and then you will be able to see this particular screen, um, this particular interactive menu. So within this, you can scroll. There are many different statistical functions. One of them is histogram. So that's the one we want. So select that and click OK. And you will see this um, interactive uh, screen over here where we have to specify first the input range. So the input range refers to the range of cells that contains the data whose frequency you want to compute. So that would be basically uh, this range over here. So I can click on this button and I can go to uh, scores and drag and drop all the way down. So you can see I've dragged and dropped this, dragged uh, my selector all the way down so that the entire range is selected. And please remember you, have, you also have to select the header, which here is called scores. You have to select that as well. So having done that, the next thing you want to select is the bin range. So the bin range is the range in which the bin values are provided. And that is basically this entire range over here. So I'm going to select that. And the third thing is, and you want to, you know, you can leave the other defaults on. You can say labels should be shown and so on. Um, you want the output range. To, uh, you want to select a, a particular cell where the output will be displayed. So I'm just going to call this F2. So that's where the output will be displayed. And you also want a chart output. Let's say you want a chart output. So with those options selected, I'm going to click OK. And now that will result in a nice histogram for us. So here is a histogram. Let's relate it back to the data and get a sense for what's happening. So the data itself is um, over here. So we have the bins from you know 10, 20, 30, and so on till 100. And these are our bin values on the x-axis. And then we have the frequency on the y-axis. The frequency refers to how many students are there with scores between, uh, let's say, 0 and 10. There are three of them. So if you did a sort, you'd see there are you know, three students with values between zero and 10. So there's this one, uh, there's this one, and uh, and then there's this one, of course. So zero and 10, 10 included. So, and so on, you know, the histogram functionality will then provide you a count of how many students are there within each bin, and it'll give you a, a bar diagram to represent that. Now, if you want to tweak this a little bit, you can tweak it. So let's say I, I find that the bar chart is the bars are too narrow. Supposing I want to make them a little bigger. So I can just select the bar chart, just click on it once like this, and then right click on it and click on uh, format data series. And I can say uh, the gap width should not be so big. Maybe I can say the gap width should be 20%. And if you do that, now you see that the gap width is a lot lesser. Um, so it used to be like this. Now it is like this. Um, another thing you can do is you can, for example, you can change the um, title so, uh, or the axis label. So here, instead of saying just bins, you can say, um, uh, you know, midterm scores, score ranges. And uh, for instead of frequency, you can say, uh, number of students. 
So this makes it a little bit more explanatory so that we are saying here that the students that uh, are in the you know 30 to 40 range are about four. There are four students in the 30 to 40 range and so on. Another thing you can try to do is you can try to middle around with um, the, um, the number values that see on the x-axis. So one thing you can try to do is let's say I don't like these bins instead I want the midpoints. So what I can do is I can insert and create a new column called midpoints and I'm just going to compute the midpoints of each of these uh, ranges so I just uh, do like this so 10 divided by 2 is 5 and so on and now what I can do is I can go over here and I can click on this right click here and uh, go to select data all the way over here let me do this again so I can right click on right click on this uh, screen here and go to select data and uh, when it comes to the horizontal uh, category axis labels I can click on edit and instead of using bins I can instead select um, something else I can select the midpoint and this time I do not select my column name I just select the numbers and I click OK and OK once again and now what we have here is instead of the bins we have the midpoints of each bin so that's another one of the things that you can try to do so uh, I guess that's it for now I hope uh, you find this useful thanks for watching